I don't really know what else to say about this apart from it just sounds bloody lovely. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today I have plasters on my fingers because I managed to give myself friction burns the other day and they're quite hideous. So for your sake, I've covered them up, aren't I a nice boy? Today we are once again checking out yet another musical instrument and it is actually another version of an instrument that we've checked out in the past, but you know, we've already mastered the basics of this instrument, so we might as well move to a more advanced version because we're qualified to do that, definitely. Today we are checking out the... <laughs> The Beetroot Tongue Drum by the guys over at Beetroot. Now, Beetroot are a France-based company which decided to send us this drum out of the kindness of their own hearts. And I was particularly interested by this thing because it's not just your regular tongue drum. This is a tongue drum which you can actually tune. And I'm very interested to see how well that works. Also, one great thing about it is just look how stylish this drum looks just on the packaging. The white, the black, the cool font that they've got on the front. It looks like a futuristic tongue drum and I'm well into that. The unique instrument with a deep and melodic sound. Ooh, oh, look at this. All right, so we've got a few pieces of paper and the tongue drum. It never ceases to amaze me how heavy this thing is. Oh God, they're not exactly giant. They're just bloody heavy. Oh, and it also came with some nice looking drumsticks as well. So let's start off with the bag itself. It's got a nice handle on the top there. Actually quite well padded as well. So that's not gonna hurt your hand. You then got a shoulder strap as well. And I imagine actually with the weight of this drum, having this on your shoulder, that's gonna take a lot out of you. You got a little pocket on the back there, which I'm going to assume is for your drumsticks. Yeah, that seems about right. Looks pretty sturdy, like the look of it. Let's go ahead and get the drum out. And here is the Sun drum. Ah, whew. As expected, this is one hell of a stylish tongue drum. Just look at this thing. The carbon fiber texture they've got around the side here and on the logo on the front just looks top notch. Now this tongue drum has one thing which sets it apart from any other tongue drum I have ever seen. And that is the fact that you can change the scale of this thing using magnets. Let me show you how this thing works. So on the inside there, you've got three magnets, which you can put on different tongues of the drum. Let me just pull one out, show you what it looks like. Literally three tiny magnets with a little handle. Then on the inside there, you've got a little sticker, which has instructions of where to put the magnets for different scales. Very, very straightforward. So the first one we're gonna try is the happy scale and that requires no magnets and that is the major scale. Now I'm gonna use the drumsticks instead of my hands because you get a much louder noise when you use the drumsticks. That's a beautiful sound, isn't it? I can never get tired of a tongue drum. So that was a major scale. So let's go ahead and try the minor scale, which is called Zen. One on the yellow, one on the green. So that is now set to a minor key. They've called the minor scale Zen, but honestly, I feel like any scale on a tongue drum is pretty Zen. Sounds spooky. It's very mysterious. Spooky, mysterious. Sounds like a murder's happened. I don't really know what else to say about this apart from it just sounds bloody lovely. Let's just go down the list and try the next one, which is tribal, which is a pentatonic scale. I'm not getting tribal vibes from this sound. Maybe it's because I don't know how to play tribal music. I feel like maybe if I did, I'd get more of a tribal vibe. Scale. <laughs> Next up we have the Melancholia scale, which basically means the sad scale, I'm assuming. I've got to say, after using all the different scales, there's really not a huge amount of difference in them. After using the major and the minor scale, it's obvious to see that all the other scales are just slight variants of those two scales. So there's really not that big of a difference, but just the fact that you're able to change the scale on this thing so easily and so simply, it's just something I never would expect in a tongue drum. One thing I just noticed, which I completely forgot this tongue drum has, is an output for an amplifier on the side there. 
because you can't end the video without plugging an instrument into an amplifier. Let's just move this a little bit further away from the amp, shall we? Let's turn the volume up on the... Oh, no. no. Definitely resonates in your ear just a tiny bit. Well, I guess there's really not much to say here apart from plugging this thing into an amp gives you a faithful reproduction of the sound just quite a bit louder. And the fact that it does come with an audio output does give you the opportunity to plug this thing into a recording device so you can actually record the music a little bit easier. I really wish that today I was able to play some actual proper songs on this thing. But like with most instruments we feature on this channel, I really have no idea of how to play these things properly. But still, despite that, I think we made some pretty lovely sounds of it. So if you're looking for an instrument to pick up and just make some nice sounds without having really any great knowledge on how to play the instrument, you really can't go wrong with a tongue drum. They are just a tad expensive, so if you're looking to get one as a star instrument, maybe I don't advise this one, there are cheaper ones. But if you're looking for an upgrade to one that you already have, or you're just looking for one which is going to be the most versatile, you definitely can't go wrong with the beat root tongue drum. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like if you really like all our videos, hit subscribe, we've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I've even got my own personal Twitter, which you can follow me on there. Links in the description of how you can support the channel further with our Patreon page. You can join us on our Discord server, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.